Hi there. Normally, a galvanometer takes in a very small current for a full scale deflection. Here, the sensitivity of this galvanometer is 20 micro amperes per division. So, if we have to use it as a voltmeter, we will try and understand what is the maximum voltage that this galvanometer can measure. Suppose the internal resistance of this galvanometer is 20 ohms. So its sensitivity will be 20 micro amperes into 20 ohms, which is 0.4 millivolt. So what this means is that each of these divisions measures 0.4 millivolt and the maximum voltage that this galvanometer can measure on full scale deflection is 1.2 millivolt. Normally, we will be required to measure higher voltages using a voltmeter, something like 1 volts, 2 volts, 3 volts, etc. So, if more current is passed through this galvanometer, it will burn or the fuse of the galvanometer will burn. Suppose we want to measure a large voltage like 12 volts using the galvanometer. So we put the galvanometer along with the resistance across the resistance where we want to measure the voltage. The voltage will be same in both the circuits as they are in parallel. So this V is equal to IG which is the current through the galvanometer multiplied by the resistance in this part of the circuit which is the internal resistance of the galvanometer G and the resistance R. Now if we put in the values that we have been discussing, the maximum voltage that we want to measure is 12 volts. The maximum current that can flow in the galvanometer is 0.6 milliampere. We get the value of R as 20 kilo ohm which is a very big resistance. So now by putting this large resistance along with the galvanometer, we can measure voltages up to 12 volts. The sensitivity of this voltmeter will be 0.4 volts, which means every division measures 0.4 volts. And the galvanometer turned voltmeter can measure maximum 12 volts using this arrangement. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching.